Hey everybody, this is Mike. I have another little tutorial to show you about switch templates. Uh, let's give you a little demo. This is useful for perhaps a body with arms that want to go in front of the body when it's angled one direction, but behind the body when it's angled a different direction. I'm going to make a very rudimentary um, character's torso here. I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm going to give it a little bit of rounding and make it green and I'm going to make another very basic left arm let's make that a bright color so you'll be able to see it in contrast nicely give it some roundness I'll call this torso I'll call this arm L and um, I'm going to bring that anchor point up to the shoulder duplicate arm L and call this one arm R. This guy's going to live over here. Um, now for a little more clarity I'm going to call this arm L front and this arm R front. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate these guys and put them behind the torso. These are duplicates that will live behind the torso. I'm going to parent them to their corresponding Layer. So arm R front goes to arm R front 2, arm L front goes to arm L front 2, and <clears throat> I'm going to change that RR rear, L rear. There we go. So we have duplicates in front and behind this torso, and we're going to use these duplicates and put them in switch templates to um, turn them on and off depending on the angle of this body. So first I'm going to make one template for each arm. This will be arm L template and I'll call this an arm R template. There they are right there. In the arm L template I'm going to collect my arm L rear and arm L front, copy and paste them in here. Here's where I have to do a little thinking. I know that when I want to turn my joystick to the right, I want the front, the left arm to be in front of the torso. So I'm going to bring arm L front to the right. I'm going to unparent this here. And when I turn the joystick to the left, the left arm is going to go behind the body. So I'm going to move that over here to correspond to the left area of the joystick. Now let's do the same thing with the right template. I'm going to copy the right arms, go into the arm R template, paste them in here, remove any parenting, move them over. So when I move my character joystick to the left, I want the right arm to be in front. When I move it to the right, the right arm will be in the rear. Very good. Now let's go back here and I'm going to first um, oh animate I gotta animate these uh, guys let's see to set up my poses. Position origin here paste origin here and turning to the right the left front arm will go here the right arm will go here behind the character. Don't worry about it right now that you see it. We'll fix that once we uh, bind our switch templates. Paste origin. This will be essentially the same. And then for up and down, we're not really going to bother with that. So I'm just going to paste origins for up and down. And as you see, the rear um, versions followed along with these guys because they're parented. Let's create a joystick. Body angle, I'll call it. <clears throat> I'll move this guy to the side. And of course, it's working like that. Now we bind our switch templates to toggle the opacity of these arms. I'm going to go to switch templates, find my right arm template, body angle is the name of my joystick later and bind 
Watch what happens to that right arm. It's now going behind the body appropriately. Let's do the same with the left template, body angle bind. And now I have uh, the impression of a rotating body. And what we're actually doing is flipping on and off the opacity of these duplicate arms. If you look at the transparency property between these, uh, these layers, they're swapped between 0 and 100. Move the joystick over here, and they flip once I cross the center. So that's how you can uh, create the illusion of animated stacking order changes with joysticks and sliders. Hope you enjoyed this little tip. Thanks. Bye.